Hi, I'm Kristen Arnold and I'm a high stakes meeting facilitator and a professional panel moderator. And welcome to Powerful Panels, how to moderate a panel like a pro. This week's question is who introduces the panelists? Now I gotta tell you, professional panel moderators, there is no right answer to this one. Some say absolutely never should the panelists introduce themselves and others are saying never should the moderator introduce them. So it's up to you to decide. So here are the pros and the cons of each. The moderator, if the moderator uh, introduces the panelists, the good news is, is that that can set, kind of set the tone, sets the stage. It, it can be a conversation starter. So as you're introducing the panelists, you give them their first question. You can connect the panelists to that topic so that um, you can brag on their credentials a little bit better than maybe the panelists can. And um, you can have more consistent introductions so that you're controlling the timing and the length of the introduction. So everybody is being presented the same kind of fashion and there isn't like any preferential. Now, the downside to the moderator introducing the panelists is if you're a panelist and you're sitting there listening to a moderator introduce you, you better get it right because it can be very demotiva demotivating if you just completely flub it up or you mispronounce something or you say something incorrectly. Um, and it's like, so who, who are you to talk about me? And because of that, it takes a little bit longer for the panelists to connect with the audience. Um, because really the moderator by speaking is, is doing more of the connection with the audience versus the panelists. And in fact, a lot of times when I'm moderating a, a virtual panel discussion and I'm watching the panelists, if I'm introducing them, they're scratching their head or, you know, they're, they're tuned out. They're not even engaged at that point. So it, it keeps them from getting engaged. If we take a look at from the panelists point of view, if they provide the introduction, um, it allows them to connect earlier with the audience. It allows them to say why they're on the panel and connects them to the topic. Um, and the other thing that it does is it sends a signal to the audience members and to the moderator, hey, I can follow the ground rules. If I was given 30, min 30, 30 minutes, if I was given 30 seconds, did I use my 30 seconds and did I use it well? So it kind of is an early signal about how well I'm gonna participate as a panelist. Now the bad news about the panelists introducing themselves is, you know, panelists can go on too long um, and then it, it just becomes a little awkward and throws all the timing out unless the moderator intervenes firmly and yet gracefully. Uh, the other thing that it does is if the moderator or the panelist goes on a little bit too long is that there can be some positioning imbalance where, you know, one person followed the ground rules, oh, I only took 30 seconds and another person took, a, a minute and a half, well then, you know, it, it's just awkward. Um, and it's really awkward when the panelists are bragging on themselves, like really, um, can be a little awkward. Uh, so there isn't any right or a wrong way. Uh, I know a lot of professional panel moderators, they like to do the introductions because it's all about control. Um, but if you want your panelists to connect with the audience and really it's all about that conversation, Maybe you might want to have the panelists introduce themselves. Bottom line, don't wing it. Make sure you've got a plan. Make sure everybody knows what the ground rules are and it'll work out great either way that you work this. Be consistent in your application about how you're going to introduce the panelists. One other thing, what about no introductions? I mean, after all, if the audience already knows who these people are, if it's a very tight-knit community or if the program does a pretty good job of saying who's here, the, who's here, who, who, who are these people? Then why not just get the panel started? Maybe put up a PowerPoint slide that says, you know, here's, here's the name of the person, maybe their, their, um, their photo, and maybe just a couple of bullet points about what their credentials are to be on the panel. And just go for it. So who introduces the panelists? Could be the moderator, could be the panelists, could be no one you get to decide, no right or wrong answers. So that's our powerful panel tip for the week. If you like that or have more questions or you have more information or want more information, then go to our website, www.powerfulpanels.com. Thanks for listening.